Hello folks and welcome to part four of our Votti and Boyd series of videos. I know in the last video towards the end I decided to say that uh, we will not be recording anymore in the Votti and Boyd because we thought we were pretty much done with it. However, as you probably heard us say if you did watch that video, we discovered uh, a potential entrance to some of the old Votti and Boyd workings. So in this video we basically, we went for it, we decided to have an explore, see what was down there and uh, if you watch the rest of this, you'll see exactly what we found down there. Very interesting stuff. So please enjoy. Right, good morning, folks. We're back at Blind A again. This time we're at the uh, portal to, you'll have to tell because I don't know. The Vossian board workings. Well, what's left of the open chambers they've destructed in the late 80s, early 90s and 2000s. So uh, not a nice entrance, guys. So we're going to be... Off yep. with the camera and on when we're inside in a yep. safe place, which is not at all while. So in the last video we did of this uh, Votti and Boyd different series, I was just over that side of the this 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 big pit that they dug here in the eighties. No, no nineties was it? The early two thousands. Round there, they on top. It's this. been dug yeah. out for a long time, hasn't it? Basically, this pit, and uh, we knew there's another entrance to get down to it. Adam did a quick recce visit on your last on our last trip here, and you were like. It's really sketchy, but it's durable. We just have to be super, super careful. So we're gonna, we're probably not gonna show the entrance. Should we show the entrance? You know, see how dangerous it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll show you the entrance. Here you go. We're doing this one again. So uh, let's just flip you guys around. Um, that's it down there. So we had a look, quick look at this last time. And as you can see, it's- uh, Cracking and brecciated. It's, it, it's all, it hasn't moved. In a long time let's just put it like that but still doesn't mean that uh it can go on us it can go but you know this is what you do if you do this this is what you do but you say you look further up there it's uh not so bad up there it's just the entrance here where it's all sort of it's compressed and sat yeah you understand the rock and how it lays you have a better idea of how to yeah. negotiate stuff and what's going to go first so you never never touch the top or the roof or the sides Stay low as possible. We'll see how we go. So that's where we're off. So we're going to put the camera away now and uh, we'll come back on when we're in there and hopefully we get in safely. So uh, if you, if you um, never see the footage, if you never see the footage, we didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine, I'm sure. Yeah, right. Starting to get bitten by midges, so it'll be a good time to yeah, enter the it's, dragon. <laughs> it's quite still. It's a mild day. We don't know whether it's going to start peeing it down or what. But hey, right. Anyway, let's talk and let's go. Oh, nearly fall backwards. Bye. Right, okay, folks, we've just come from up there. That's the way in. Uh, just get a bit more light in this situation. Well, one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, as you can see, we just can... Let's just boost this. That's where we just come in. That's, yeah, sketchy as. Let's just put it like that. So, uh this is where you come to. You can see the floor of the cabin here. So. The usual. We've got two hands, one with a torch, one with a camera. <laughs> so. So. So not so keep over that side you're saying. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh so in the world of sketchiness people, I think we're up there with this one. Chamber down there, we're going to go over there and look at the structure of what we're working on in the machine. Through there? Yeah, it's a massive chamber. So this has been back Let's just bring you guys down here. Let's look at this gap up here. It closes up here, but it gets quite wide over here. Yeah. So this piece here, it's hinging on what I don't know, but you've got a gap over there. Who's there? Oh, come off. Just in the corner there. This looks relatively sound at the moment. Well, that piece there, if you look up there with the camera and light, show them at home. Gosh, yeah, you can see the gap up there, folks. Out there, look. All the way along. Not so bad over there where you were, but this bit's got a good Yeah. Gap. So it's just going up on the floor, the rest of it. 
So there's an adit down that way. That goes to a collapse, literally. And then for there, the chamber is, is it's all back. It's gone. That chamber's still open. You yeah. Climb the wall. It's, it's then there's missed. something down there as well, is there? Yeah, that's where we've got to go down there. Yeah. It's quite... So, there are me people. Let's yeah. so get down. <laughs> Again, I've got the camera in one hand. I'm lighting the other. Trying to navigate this without going sideways, which at some point I probably am. Let's just try and get through here. Bear with me. There's, there is a lot of footsteps down here. It's, it's, uh, I think a few folks have been down here, haven't they? The track over there is still laid, but here it's all gone. So I wonder if you can just go there and take it. Yeah. Bear with me, I'm just trying to fidget around with stuff. Always fidgeting with camera stuff, right. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of boot marks. So this is what your face goes. See the roof here, and then the gap under here too. This yeah. Thing, under here, and then it's going like it's going like that, sort of dropping off. Wow. But that is a massive chamber in there. Yeah. It goes right under. They all work on top of this. Wow. It's been like probably ten or fifteen feet between them at the uh, the pinch. Jeez. And they were quite happy on that with the machines. But that's what I'm going to look at it. Looking about to go, isn't it? Oh, no, yeah. Looking at. Get down the bottom there and see if it's possible to get anywhere. Oh yeah, that's been that's been backfilled. Oh, oh. Now that's interesting because down there we've got railway lines. Cool. We get down that next foot. Oh, there's the outside winder. This is where the main incline came in, James. Oh, interesting. This is the base of it. So, yeah, see, so they've got an old roof bolt there. Do you want to take the camera, point it down there? I haven't got enough light. You might be better come and have a look yourself. It'd be a lot better if you take... did it because there's no room to manoeuvre around this. <laughs> it's going to come in. Yeah. Leave your backpack there. If you take that. Pocket, hello. <laughs> Big torch. So meanwhile, the uh, the dodgy roof of doom. <laughs> yes, we're looking in here. The back filled all that, haven't they? Yeah, you just it's, it's mainly you just fucking filled. You know, so. <laughs> I don't know if people can see that at home, I don't know, but there's a level you carrying over there. Let me go down the chamber floor. If we look down here. Double click on the light, it'll go turbo. Where on. we got the where's the switch? There you are, that's where we're gonna go to. Down there. Hopefully. There's a building just over there. <laughs> I'm not going no closer for that. We'll get down there and shoot it for you, but yeah. That's all been backfilled, but they're on top of that with the machine. Scary that is Very it? scary, yeah. Is okay. A bridge across here? No, they would have worked it out. There's a slight vein goes down, they would have followed it. Here we are, let's pocket. Turn it on turbo because it starts burning your hand. I just realised I'm cooking it's your hand then. It's bloody hot, doesn't it? It's smell burning for it. It's not explosive, is it? No. Just Stop. move back a bit out of your way. Yeah, that's back. I guess these are very important for the, um, the miners, just so they get disorientated or for any reason. I know this is not where to go. We've got to find a way down now. Now I can stick the left hand side, but do you want to look at that bit of rail over there? Yeah, let's have a look at that. The first thing we come to the rail on the If you don't know the news, I'm going to have to stop this a second. You know why? It used to be a right. steam wind on the ground in here, isn't there? Right, let's. Uh, we're just going to go over here, people. I try to very carefully, not looking up because it's looking sketchy as hell. But I want to have a quick shot at this. You can tell as an old mine when you see tracks like as old as this. Let's see if we can get in here and have a look. Oh, look at this. Now that is some old railway tracks. And then you can see this cavern here is just being completely backfilled. 
everything to come in or the top has collapsed into it yeah wow once upon a time look you can see the tracks just going into it but yeah look like this old bridge rail yeah you can see the old bridge rail here look profile and again a chain which is like uh, a weird fungal sort of grows on it they're these weird see these it's like metal growths it's very strange I've not seen anything like that before we see a lot of them in these mines but yeah look at this whole bit of track to nowhere you can see <laughs> it obviously went somewhere in there so the tracks just oh, let's get a light off there see the tracks are just uh, in midair look where all these brocks have come down crushed it yes sketchy be very careful where we stand here we just, uh, just don't want to touch anything that looks like it could possibly move so I don't know whether we're gonna have a crack down there yeah Yeah. This is the, the means of access as well. Oh, this looks good. So, right, we'll join you when we get to the bottom of this, folks. Right. Right, folks. We're in another cavern. So, we've just come from the bottom of this here. Um, God, struggling to light it up with this torch. Let me, uh, did it give you the big torch? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me, uh, so there we go. So that's the big torch on it. It gives the em emulet. Yeah, let's, let's see the, all the fishes and the all the all the gaps. Look where it's been coming in. All this not slate. It's uh, what's what's it called? Quartz. Not quartz. Granite, isn't it? This is granite that's come off. So we've just come from up there. That's our cavern. You've just seen us film. Just very carefully come down this, not to d disturb anything, because we don't want to be entombed in here. And uh, yeah, so we'll have a quick look around. So, I don't know, it's just uh, we'll have a look over there, and this is my artifacts. So the floor is probably well under here somewhere. But yeah, big old room, folks. Right, let's turn this off before the. Uh, Well, the emulet goes on fire. It is, it's a powerful torch, folks, but my day does it get hot. <laughs> it just gets too hot. Well, the idea is if we do a bit of underground, I'll run the battery on that first before I use the uh, marauder torch. Right, that's just to bring you guys in. So, here we are. Got all this incline wire here just slowly rotting away. Crazy, eh? Just tons of it. Oh, here you go. The video lights just had a bit of a. <laughs> wow. So I'm just on top of this, uh, and you can see well, this whole section here is flooded. So we've got a tunnel that way. Standing on top of all this old wire here for an incline, presumably. It's. It is strange how they never sort of repurposed any of this wire, isn't it? Like, so we noticed in the Diffus Quarry, which is just above from where we are, folks, here, that they uh, reused it, didn't they? This is the man, the man way down to the base of the mine. If you look in the water, you see how it goes around, like, see the mine fern? So oh, it's okay. been built up, like a zigzag path. Yeah. So this is Can you just see that there, folks? We've got a man way down there. Then it curves off down there, and because the optical illusion with the water, it doesn't look like it goes that that deep, but it actually does. You can see down there, it's just, yeah. Black. Black. There's a drop there. Very really clear, very clear. You can see. Green water. So interesting if this is on the same level as that drainage addit. I imagine it is. I wonder whether they used to pump this out a long time ago. This mine's been done a long time, hasn't it? Yeah. Now look at the wire where it goes into the, the yeah, water here. When, when this see that? Wow. <laughs> A lot of wire here, just look at the look at the big pile of it. Good grief. Wonder why it ended up here. Yeah. And interestingly these uh 
fitments in the roof look. So these here, obviously holding a compressor line because there's one more there, look. And then there's one here actually with a bit of pipe in it. Did you go this way then, Chunk? Yeah, I don't have no number, but I don't. Yeah, definitely. You reckon this bit pipe just hanging midair? Oh, it's just not long for the world though, look. It's, uh, it's rotting away merrily there. This, uh, this this wire is so corroded when I'm standing on it, it's just literally just breaking in half. Try and not stand on it. I don't really want to break it any more than it is, but <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at it. It's coiled so much of it. Grief. Do you reckon they pulled this off the mill incline at the top? Wonder why they put it all down here. I'm literally standing on it, people. There's just tons of it. See, it all still goes through here. I'm actually finally on, on the ground here. There's no tram line, there's no train tracks, but look at it all. Tons of it. <laughs> Have you got some stills of this chunk? Yeah. Oh, there you are, you can see part of the uh, flooded level coming up there. Yes, if it makes sense, if this is on the drainage addict tunnel, you'll see in one of our earlier Diffus, Diffus uh, Fotty Boyd videos, you'll see the drainage tunnel. We have a quick look down fairly early on. There you go, there's another cabin that's been completely backfilled or it's collapsed in from the top, more likely. When they topped out all the cabins before, so it comes tumbling down. My guess is, is when they were digging it all out the top to get rid of a lot of what they didn't need, they just took, chucked it down the old cabins, get rid of it. Yeah, you can see here, look. It's just all come tumbling down from above. So we don't want to really be down here too much, too long and help it. It's not, not a very nice place. Fascinating stuff down here, mind you. But uh, can't get over all this wire. There must be miles of it here. Tons and tons and tons of it. It must have been. Uh, I mean, it's rotten without a doubt. I mean, it's never be used again. But when it was put down here, let's have a look. Yeah. Some glass bottles. And then there's obviously one on here. I'm just getting. So it's made a little pile of artifacts. It's remains of a hammer, and it yeah. it's just. Split obviously this is a weak point used to crack here, but yeah. that's the head. We're another head here. Obviously the other halves are on the floor. Bad day yeah. for the quarry money, they've had to pay for a new hammer. Bit of rail there, I think, yeah, bit of rail just upside down there. Yeah. Yeah. We slash slacks and cocks. That's mm -hmm. quite funny. If anyone's watched our other video of uh diff whist when we're down there. It wasn't my intention, people, to start the video with the word slacks and cocks. <laughs> but it does make me chuckle every time I put it. I've, friends I have watched seen, it. If I ever see one in bottles in a shop, an antique shop, I'll be buying it. Just, just remind me of that experience in that pot. Yeah. I hope nobody takes it away because it's just something nice to see. This looks like um, it's a pin or something. Yeah. Compressed airline, another spirals. Yeah. That looks like a, a drill bit, so the head's all balled over the hammer. Look at the way if the clogs are you know, so smoothed off. This was obviously the miner's way down. Yeah, right? yeah. So that's what we were saying before, folks. This was the way down here, look. We've gone around there, around the corner, and, well, <laughs> down into the abyss. And I just dumped some more compressor pipes and bits of track, look there. Some interesting things in there. There's a bottle or something. I just see a bottle there. Some wire and stuff. Just regular old dumping ground for anything and everything. Sure, it's like a bit of conduit or something like that, isn't it? Piece of paper. This here. Galvanised. There's a bit of galve there, look. Uh, I'd say it's a galve because it's not corroded. It's copper, but if it were copper, they wouldn't leave that there, would they? Bit of paper, yeah. Just not sure what this is, but look how it's expanded and rusted and just... Transformer laminate. Piece. Could be out of a transformer. And have a washer here or something. You say they electrified this mine fairly early on? Yeah, this was one of the first. I like the door frame. Wow. Ah. <laughs> Here we go, look at that, people. Regular little uh, hobbit hole. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just get it, take a photo. Oh. 
I mean, the dodgy, sketchy exit is worth it. Just to come and have a look at some of this, I think. Cool. There's a basement bottle there. And then over here, you've got some handmails. Look, see this? There's all stuff everywhere. Oh, some isolators. There's a base of a wagon that Do you think they're chunk? Mm. Uh, no, it's like part of a hand winch or so. The axle go in it or, or oh, cable drum. Oh, yeah, cable drum. Ah, it's a mount for the cable drum. So when they respooled the incline, a new cable, see how it's collapsed? That'd have been up here. Ah, right, yes. It's, it's concertinaed people. Yeah. yeah. So there wouldn't be a bearing, they just just rotate. a piece of. And that's just a keeper, stop it yeah. taking off. So when they re cable it, they'd run a wagon down the incline, preferably yeah. a slab truck with this yeah. chain to it, to run the new cable off. Bit of blacksmith, fantastic work here. See, it goes for 90, and then obviously you've got a reduction. That's a pipe, is it? Yeah, it's been welded. So oh, look at that. Then look at this pipe here. Look at that. Look at the corrosion on that. Yeah, I'm not going to. The sand here, what the sand's for then? Adhesion for the locomotives, maybe? They're battery locos, Danny. I mean, that's an interesting bottle. Ooh. Look at that, the screw cap's quite a fat neck, that. Look at that. It's like a hip bottle, isn't it? Or something tonic. Oh. Interesting screw fed on it. There's a. Oh. Uh, these are a label. Not cloth, got a old jacket. Lots of cloth, Some there, isn't it? Yeah. Edge yeah. of something over there, looks like a wheel. Edge of rim off wheel. Oh. Some tins of grease over there, look. It's like the general rubbish area. Some Galvanised brackets here, look. <laughs> Blasting caps, tin. Handrails, must be some fancy handrails down here. Look, are they being forged out? Uh, oh, no, there's going to be methane expulsion. Oh, oh there we go. Oh. Boot. Ah, that's a bit of a gasket, that, isn't it? Yeah, look at the size of that bloody gasket. Oh, my days. And oh, there we go. spiders here again. That's that. Oh, look at that. There is good luck charm. Is that what they were for? Yeah. Good well, I think we've actually officially found out that boots left in chambers were a good luck charm. A bit, odd, bit odd if you ask me, but... Uh, We've got a set of batteries here. Set of batteries? Oh wow, look at them! Metal flip tops. They're the old Cadian batteries, aren't they? Yeah. Look at the plates inside there. Plates are still on. Flip lids, look. Oh, my dear Is folks, you wait until we see what's behind us here. There's an old winch house and... Yeah, well, look at that. Good grief. Wow. Look, <laughs> bear with me, I'm just going to stop the recording a sec. Right, yeah, look at these old batteries. This is well worth chancing it if you get in here. Look at that there, folks. You ready for some safe light? I don't think we're going to light much of this up. Uh, look at all the smeg and corrosion. Yeah. Look at the mechanism. So you've got the mechanism over there, look. Yeah, so that's to call, the system, isn't it? call the trains, yeah, to call the winchman. But you've got some isolators on top of the cable, isn't it? Ah, there's still cable on it. There it is, it's there, look. Fucking pikeys haven't found their way down here yet, have they? Well, they're welcome to come in here. I don't think they've come in here. How stupid is that? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's this big torch on four, and that doesn't even touch the surface. Look, again, it's the optical optical illusion of the track. So, but yeah, that that obviously goes down a fair ways, judging by the amount of incline wire that's. Oh, oh no, we don't in that mode. By the incline wire that's knocking around. Wow, look at this. What's that? Right, I'm going to turn you around, folks, and look at this now. Look at that. Wow. And there's a building up there, look. Something's been on fire there, look. Yeah, that's fire in here, that's those on the ground. No, that piece of wood there, look. See, it's been on fire. Oh, it has, yeah. And that tank, by the looks of it. Yeah. So look at this big cab, so that's been backfilled there folks, so we're guessing this must have been an incline or a way out. This is a lower incline. Wow. Let's just take you around here quickly while we've got the big torch on the go. Before my hand melts because it's starting to get ridiculously hot already. Wow, look at this. How cool is this? Look at that, people. The cabins have got the glass in it. Oh, wow, there's a little, there's a little building in here. Some of it. Look at that big tank up there. That's a brine tank. Look at the look at the magazine. That's an old brine tank. The electrodes. Yeah, that's awesome, isn't it? Oh wow. Look at the rust on it. I know. Yeah, someone's actually tried to set it fire this. Oh, they have a fire from the electrical blue Wow, look at this building here. Wow, look at the light on the side of that. Yeah. That up there. Oh no, no, it's electrical. Does that fit in there? Up there is electrical. Look 
at that there, the old, look at the old wiring there. So the old uh, well, the cables would have come in, no doubt. A bit too much light, sorry about that, folks. Wow. Wow, this is really cool. Can't believe this. Wow. Do you want me to light it up? You got enough light? It, um, it, people, this is incredible. One sec. There you go. Now, folks, I'm not being funny, but how cool is that? It's so intact considering how old it is. And then you've got these, look at these big um, poles here, driven, driven into the ground. Wow. You reckon? Yeah, you can see all the salt stuff on there. Wow. Jeez, I'm going to have to turn this big light off. It's uh teapot. Alright, we found a teapot, we're sorted. Well honestly people, I'm not joking when I say this similar thing, it's burning my hands, it gets too hot. I'm gonna have to get me other big torch out. You know, marauder, that gets warm, but it doesn't get to the point where you can't hold it. Right, I, I think we're jumping the gun here. Let's just take you people back down here and have a look around because we're missing loads of things here, aren't we? Just got too excited. I'm too excited, people, too excited. Too excited. Right, so here we go, that's that incline. We just come through there. Some sort of old mount here, maybe from motor. Um, got all the stuff in here. Big old concrete mounts. Wow. It's interesting, it's got a hole in it though. Wonder whether any of this was steam back in the day before it was electrified. The old steam, gaskets and stuff, look. I think Adam's right, you can see a silt level around the edge where it probably floods. Now that's interesting, look. And there's obviously a big wheel on the side of that. Ah, interesting. That's it? Wow. All this bits of bolts and stuff. An old voltmeter. Oh, look at that. Here's one for a photo chunk. An old volt voltmeter. Look at that. That's uh, some severe corrosion right there. Look at that there. Some old pipes. Could have been a compressor maybe here, because you can see the outline of a brickwork. And then, ah, there you go. There's the answer. It was a compressor. You can see there was a a big tank on here, and then the compressor would have been there, a big piston air compressor, I would have thought. So this is not to do the incline this, this is just air. <clears throat> Which probably makes sense, I think. Wow, look at all the fittings in the roof there. Cable carriers. Really want to see if we can get up and have a look at that. That's super cool. Let's have a look over here. All chains on the floor. So the old tracks here coming up, uh, they bent them down in the incline. So all that wire through there, we came through that door, must have come off this incline, old wire. Whereas they must have upgraded it perhaps. See a big pedestal here for the pipes here to come up. Air pipes maybe. Blacksmiths. That's what it used to heat up. This used to do blowing blacksmith, so they'd have hot coals in there and air coming from the back. So they were doing blacksmiths down here. There's a big old pipe, look at that. The old cast iron pipe there, look. Teapot. <laughs> There's always a teapot. Wow. Oh, I lost foreboding, look at this thing here. A pipe there. An old air pipe. Look at that. <laughs> I make a good photo. Just in the wall there. Oh wow, look at all the electrics. Oh, oh I'm getting too excited. <laughs> getting all these old meters, look. I think they were off the floor, someone's pulled them up, look. And old meters again, old our meters, volt meters, frequency meters perhaps. Yeah, you can see, it's a shame everything on the floor is in such bad order, it can look like it floods. 
No rubber hoses. I don't know what that is there. It's a case for something. Look. There's part of the there's an incline roller there. Wow. Part of the call mechanism, I should imagine that is. That wheel and pulley. See there. Wheel and pulley mechanism there. Head off, try not to over expose it. No. There you go. The excitement of not that the camera settings right, I don't think. But yeah, you can see part of the call mechanism just down there. See on the side there. Uh, yeah, you can see the water level here where it comes up there. So the mark. So it does, it floods. Probably, probably not too much further than this, I'd imagine, but. <laughs> that way. Oh, that way. Yeah. Taking a shot. <laughs> so I'm guessing above this here is where the incline rollers used to be to go down there, so. We'll have a quick look now. Might be a bit of a clamber up there, but I really want to get a look at that. That is super, super cool. All right. I just noticed here on the floor, look, there's the uh, the end of the incline cable. Just to pull the slab wagons up there, look. And along there, and then there's the hook at the end, look. There you go. See that there? You are? Yeah, I saw that in the corner. Right, before I have a look at the electrics, let's have a nose up here. <laughs> look at that, that's an old, uh, that's an old lance from the end of the wire. Look, see the wire there? It's a bit overexposed again, aren't we? Just one sec for you people. Try not to, uh, it was just a little bit, a little bit overexposed, there we go. Yeah, see that there? Oh, Lance, look. The chain, <laughs> then it goes up. <laughs> they just someone just hooked it on up there. Look, so that would have been on the end of a wire, um, crimped on a giant crimp lance thing. Wow, oh, look at this! Wow, so there we go. There's a view of that tank up there. Look, that is cool as that's just ah. Uh, I can't uh, tell you how excited I am to see something like this, people. That is power controlling at its oldest. Okay. And you're probably asking, why are you getting so excited about whatever that is? <laughs> yeah. So this, people, you see that thing in there with the two spot prongs? The two prongs sticking up. The whole of that moved up and down. I remember in the other re in the bottom mine of Verna got a much more modern version of this in tubs. Got three tubs with three big anodes that drop in into the three buckets, and the buckets are full of brine. This is just a really old version of that. So there would have been metal anodes going in the side of this wooden box, which might have been those bolts on top, I don't know. All the wiring's been stripped out because it's valuable. But you can see this mechanism would have dropped that plate into the wooden box which would have decreased the resistance, which would have sped up the motor. So as that was dropped in, the motor would speed up. And my guessing is, Brian, it was all DC powered. Now you can see the leverage here going up to that mechanism with the weight, ball weight on it to make sure it always returns. So it's, you always have to push pressure on it. Really interesting. Looks like a bit of slate isolated there for maybe a meter to display current or something. But how cool is it that that's still there, eh? 
No, I'm, I'm doing bit at a bit, bit at a time. I'm trying not to jump the gun. <laughs> oh, wow, there's a big, looks like a big old pipe through there. Can you see that through there, people? Oh, you probably can't on the camera, but. So this power seat looks like it's electrical, by the looks of it. We'll go down there again and have a look at that in a minute. Some old uh, switch gear there. That could be a sledding rectifier by the looks of it, or is it a resistor bank? No, it's a resistor bank. There's a weight there, look. So look here, some old porcelain isolators and stuff. We went right past that then. Some old porcelain isolators there. Bit of wire, copper, copper. An old power box of some description, just rotting away. Look how corroded that is. Completely corroded. Yeah, wow, so this is quite interesting, this little room is like a small upstairs portion. Uh, over on top of the transformer there, look. There's it's an old transformer. Here, mine look at these, these hand meters are still in one piece. You've got wow. hands and bolts here. A big piece of slate there with those kind of about that's an old power inlet. I love the fact that it had its own little roof, there's an old brush up there, look. Oh no, this one's actually on the wall, it's getting damp out. Wow. I've actually slated the back of the wall here. Now, it would have been a floor where you were going across. Yeah, yeah. Possibly in the stalls where you were. And yeah. This was obviously to keep the damp out. Keep the, the, the right damp. This is the chamber wall. Yeah, yeah. It creates an air gap. They've even tried look rendering it, look. Wow. To, to seal it. Wow. The damp's just worn its way through over the years. Yeah. I love the fact they built these little buildings in here. Let's just jump up here. Oh, we'll get too close to the edge. It's a bit of a fall. Yeah. Ah, you can just see on the edge. Can you just see that, people? Right where the tip of my finger is. I'll see if I can zoom in in, in the edit. There's some, looks like they're not corroded, so they're gonna be copper post, posts on the side of that. They're not corroded. Everything else in there is corroded. I'd love to see if that's still full of stuff. Probably not in the state it's in, look. But look how beautiful those bits of timber are they've made it out of. Look how well preserved the edges are. Oh, I've got to see if we can get up there to have a look at that. Yeah, so this is presumably where a winding motor would have been years ago. Maybe a big gear here. Shame it's all gone, but it's a bit of old crap up there. Yeah. Yeah. It's carbon coated. Wow. Well. <clears throat> Alright, let's have a quick nose down there and have a look in the electrical room where Adam is. Wow. <clears throat> little smithy area, I don't know what was here. Maybe rotary converters, perhaps. Imagine they would have been here somewhere because look at there. Uh, We've well, got a big transformer in there, so it would have been an AC. I won't come in this way, it told you this. Oh, yeah. The lint was given, and that's it. Well, I want to have a look at these bits of equipment here anyway, so. I'm guessing we had motors on these pedestals looking at them. But uh, what they were doing, we'll never know. But yeah, we've got a resistor bank there, look, so that's a speed controller of sorts. Could be, um, and a much high, higher power resistor bank right there. Look on the floor. Look at that. I love it, yeah, those. some good photos taking the side of that there, Chunk. Yeah, I'm going to do a load of here now. Yeah. In there, but just mind the dodgy walls, do Yeah, okay, yeah, look at that, folks. They even put a piece of sheet in the corner to stop the, uh, the, the draft going around the back of this. Yeah, these are definitely motor mounts, aren't they? You can see where they would pull, pull that back. Yeah, the adjuster for the... Yeah. This is like a resistor bank here, isn't it? It yeah. is, yeah, high power one. Indeed. Yeah, the left hand one's a much higher power one than the right one. Wow. I'm just going to put the whole can on top. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that, that's amazing, amazing, isn't it? Yeah. The There's a little gate there, so they didn't want people coming around the back here. Look, little gateway. Well, so I wonder. Ah, you know what this would have been? Well, I reckon this probably would have been. Um, a big air compressor, ah, so like two good. motors on them, some well, belts then going across to here. Oh, it's just 
They're asked to copper, aren't they? There's not much in them at all. Though. No, there's, there's not copper, it's steel. I mean, it resists the bank. I don't think you use copper as resistance. This thing just gets too hot. There's a bit more strain in, in steel. I, I can't remember. Yeah, it's huge. See if you can get a picture for it. There's a bit of copper wire there. Yeah, it is, look. A bit of copper wire, look, folks. Look at that. Pikers haven't had it. Nice big lump of it. Nice to see some vintage stuff like that down here. Wow, this is incredible. I just don't know where to look. There's so much stuff. You can see all the sediment on the floor of Adam's dead right. It definitely floods in there at times. How far it comes up to though, couldn't really say. Wow. Let's have a look in here then. Not the painted red on the door of danger. <laughs> Let's have a look in here. Red lead, hey? Red lead. Is it paint? Red oh, look at this. The old panel, slate. Obviously would have been one there, but it's long gone. Look at that there. Pretty sure that says amp Ampers. Try not to shine my torch in it so you guys can see it. <laughs> oh, no, bleaches it right out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, there we are. Isolators there. There's an old transformer. <coughs> you can see the power would have come in there on that one. You can see the crimping. And then, yeah, maybe the various taps. How corroded it is. Wow. Bolted together, look. Yeah. I'm assuming it's a transformer or custom made switch panel. I'm gonna go with transformer. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, as much as we're gonna see in there, it's so wet in here, people. As you know, like Adam was saying before, look, they tried to, when well, it was an operation, to try and steep the damp, the damp out of here, look. Uh, this all slates come off the roof, which is a real shame. Yeah, I'm guessing someone's had them off for a reason. A big old gear there, look. Chain sprocket or something. Rotten wood, band brake. Look at that old wooden band brake there. Oh, there is a big piece of asbestos on it. Look, asbestos. A big piece there, laminate, I mean, band brake. Presumably off on the uh... teapot. Oh, is a teapot? There you go. <laughs> you want a teapot? There's a teapot. Barrel look. Completely turned to dust. It's almost there. Love to know what these things are for. Looks like that's the other maybe panel that was in the electrical room. I wonder what these things are. How bizarre is that? That's strange, isn't it? There's another one there, look. I don't know. Well, train tracks have all been taken up. There's still some over there, look. Yeah, there's still tracks still run down there, look, and into that underground portion over there. Now this is cool, look at this. It's old building, look. <laughs> Chimney in here, so you can see all the soot just went off up into, into the sky. Still got some windows intact. Now, how cool is that? Point switch there, look. Point switch there. Well, what do you need? Big torch. What do you need a shot of? Oh, do you want to light it up? Yeah. Right, people, I'm just going to light it up from that way. There we go. Wow, oh, you can see there that little building. Now that's cool. There's the incline down there and the electric room. All right. 
All right, let's now have a look in the little house building. Try and uh, have to look at the manual to find out how to turn the inlet hook torch off because it keeps going off in my pocket and setting fire to my pocket. <laughs> oh, look at that. More the electrical panel there, look. There's lots of drippers in here trying to avoid folks. Oh, look at this. It's an old heater there, look. Yeah, element old electric heater, that isn't it? Part of one. There's some more here, look. So they would have a little electric heater somewhere here to keep themselves warm. Lots of bits and bobs in here, look. Artifacts. Kettle, another kettle, teapot. Some porcelain there, look at that. Tin. I love it when people pour this stuff. Is that the base to a pipe there? Uh, no, it's a metal fitting, sorry. Teapot full of gunk. And some old electrics there. Lead wire. Look at that. Looks like a bit of twin, but it's not. That's actually lead, that is. You can see the uh, braided cable at the top. Yeah. Well, nice later there. Oh, there you go. There's another bit of lead. Yeah. You can see the two rubber conductors inside. So black, black and red. So they're vulcanized rubber. Oh, no, it's actually rubber. Tell a lie, it's vulcanized rubber. That's in remarkably good condition considering. Wow. Good grief. No earth though, it's just two, two colors. <laughs> you can see straight in that box. All right, that's the electrical side of me. Wow, look at how well preserved the doorway is. <laughs> wow. Let's have a look inside, shall we? How cute is this? <laughs> Little Wendy house. Ah, uh, looks the same sort of wiring as mine of her look. So the old braided stuff. And that same sort of light fitting down there. Now oh, I've got ourselves a little fire. That's, uh, that's where the conduit, no, that's where the cable comes in there, look. That's the wiring coming in. Very nicely done. Big, huge slabs for the roof. It's a shame that one's come in. Oh, maybe there's a light there. Maybe there's a roof light. I don't know. Well, some idiots have just knocked it down. But I love the fact that these windows are still here. Look. Look at that. They're covered in crap, but they're still there. Look how preserved the wood frame is. Compared to the lintel. The lintel's gone, look. It's just rotted out. Wow. It's amazing. There's the fireplace. <laughs> so it looks like they maybe had that electric fire on there because I bet you that would have been for the wire in to supply the power to that electric fire, which we saw bits of outside. Because you see that lintel there would have been to keep your tea warm. Oh, there's a little junk on the floor, unfortunately. That's very cool. Yeah, the roof in here is a bit sketchy, so uh, just notice that. It's not trying to touch anything. Is it? Very muddy. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, one more look. Alright, I'm just about to max out an SD card, so I'm going to have to go and do a SD card change. What's that? Oh, the old screwing ones. Alright. Where are you? Grab your hand, and pull out. Look. Oh, good grief! Yeah. That's that's to the ring. There's enough here to make three of them. So it's a three phase fucking pull. Look. I don't think it was three phase. I think it was definitely probably DC powered down here. It's all it's that age, isn't it? Scary. Just imagine how far that goes down, folks. Yeah. Imagine how far that goes down, folks. Maybe someone in the comments could tell us how many more levels are down here, but... I guess it's double track like this, I imagine it's probably going to be something... Well, towards the end it looks like single track, the next this looks like it's long gone. No, that probably took that out, unless yeah. they access to the power winder. Oh. That's been used to recover the scrap. It's just yeah. the one with a better cable on, so they've obviously used that. Yeah. It's weird how they didn't take the cable though, isn't it? Why would you? 
Yeah. Right, we've got 20 seconds left in the SD card, let's change it. Right, we'll see you in a sec, folks. Right, folks, we're, uh, we're battery changed. Battery changed. Yeah, you got ammeter here. Eh? Voltmeter, ammeter, yeah. Uh, also, some air valves here. <laughs> Pressure yeah. change over valves. Right, I'll tell you what. You're going to give that a run I'm going to give it a go if you have that. Yeah, you've got. If you want to do a record, you've got that. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> funny as hell. The record will be falling off, actually, yeah. That'll be good. Are we, are we recording now, eh? It is on, yeah. Ha ha, hello. <laughs> and now... Yeah, people put in. Yeah, look how sketchy that is. Don't bother with that, I'll go for the round bolts. Oh, that's perfect, that would Jesus, be. yes. Trust it's thy <laughs> British steel. You're just going to have to pull yourself up, aren't you, on that big slab yeah. to the right of you? Big slab and then... Wherever this goes in, people, you can see this, I don't know, but... He's going up. He's going up. He goes. Well, of course, yeah. He's got that industrial porn up there. Everyone's going to want to go up there. Wow, he's up there. He's up there. So we're going to have a look at what he's. I'm excited, folks. You ready? Yeah. Whoa! You got it? Yeah. I'm excited, folks. I wanted to come have a quick look at this. Oh, here we are. We're right by it. Look at this. Has it got stuff in it? Has it got stuff in it? No, it's full of crap. But wow. You think it's been electrical fire? No. I don't know. Someone's just tried to set fire to it, haven't they? Because you can see it's all burnt here. Amazing. When I'm fire, I'm down here. And then that bit there. So something, someone's done something up here for some reason, haven't they? Oh, that's all gone. Oh, that's just hanging from. How is that hanging from there? Brass fitting on the other side. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, that's weird, isn't it? Well, that's part of the mechanism for controlling the speed, I would have thought. So something on top of Some it. Uh, looks like a handle, a bit of wood on the end of it. See? It, uh, yeah, we're all fire. Look, all the, didn't notice that. See the wear marks the drum had in there, look? Yeah. Can you see that? Uh, you can just see that, folks. Semicircle there. Right, let's have a let's have a look at this. Try not to get too close to the edge. Well, and there we go. This is what we want to have a look at. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? So we can see. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay. Let me. Right. The light is on the bottom of my camera, folks. So I'm not lighting it up. <laughs> let me get my torch on and go. Right, and then we can show you guys, show you what's happening. <laughs> Is there? No, it's the front. <laughs> right, let me just get this. Right, there we go. You can see what's going on in here now. Let's see what's going on. Right, so you can see inside, there's the plates. So there's a plate there. The plate there, which is the one that raises and lowers. This one, and then there's another plate the other side. So those two plates obviously stay in situ all the time. They're, they're submerged in the brine. And you can see they've got these big brass lugs. So out there, and one over there. And then notice that big plate in the middle is isolated up there, look. See that? There's an isolator there. You can just see it isolating there. And isolated here and there would have been some sort of connection on there probably and isolators at the top as well you're going to make it the chain so that whole middle section dropped down what well, it is dropped down actually so this must have been full to the top yeah must have been full right to the top this yeah. How cool is that there? That is super, super cool. But just look, look at the condition of the wood on the end. Look at the condition of that. Look how straight it is. Then look at all the burn there, where it's uh, it's gone on fire. 
That's a shame, isn't it? You can see how bad it is. But uh, regardless, other pieces of rubber, bits of wood, and a vulcanized rubber. Yeah, but how about that, eh? That's a cool bit of history right there. Very early electrical history. Wow. Yeah. I know. <laughs> right, folks. Lubricating it all. Just it's thick with it. Yeah. <laughs> Should I take a photograph of the inside there? Right, one sec, let me just pass you down. This looks like this has come up recently. Well, yeah, folks, Adam's just pointed this out. We reckon, see this, the two holes on it here, and it kind of curves down. We're wondering whether this would have been power cable going underground, maybe, or I don't know, or it's just a pipe with some adapters. Hard to say, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon it's too cool. The yeah. interesting thing on here is there's one on the floor there. See the rubber of the eye on the end on the floor. Now, if you go to your right there, there's actually one with the end still. This is for cleaning the drill hole. Rock. So, after they drill a hole in the rock, they have to get the, the powder and shite out. So, they put this in, a little scoop foot, and pull it out. Wow. Get all the dust out of there. Quite a lot of like say bolts this and is, some bolts this, and this rad, that, rubber that, stuff. That's like a compressor, that's actually a, um, a valve. So it would have sucked air through been, it and not let it back. Yeah, they'd be on top of there. Now, yeah. I'm guessing this was actually bolted on top of the, the seal to only yeah. allow it to move a slight amount. You didn't want it taken off, didn't you? The speed of the compressor would go. Obviously, it would, that, that being allowed to move more than it should do would obviously wreck the valve material, so they actually, yeah. that was actually <laughs> the guard to keep it at a set distance on there. So there's a spanner. That's small compared to another yeah. one seen in it. What's that? that? Look at that thing. That's weird, isn't it? Is that some sort of... Yeah, it's a weight. Oh, right. That's the... <laughs> There's a ring spanner there, look. With a, with a tin yeah, line. Yeah. It's a soldered tin. You can see it's got the... Um... There's an air valve there for holding drill. See it? Oh, yeah. With a handle on it. That's been opened. That's a lead tin with a lead seal on it. 1800s again. There's that fitment there, look. Guessing these pipes here must be the blowdown valve. Pipe, because this pipe runs next door when we came in. Ah, yes, to yeah. that, to a pool, just yeah. stopped, doesn't it? To get all the crap. To all the, the uh, yeah, so we would have had oil, water. Yeah, old school, old school compressors, you call it. Yeah. If you can call it, old school compressors. Just give it back up. You'd have filled up with air and oil, wouldn't you? So that's yeah. That would be how you blast and cleaned out the base of the tank. Yeah, so this must be running right to the end then. So this is a piston compressor. Yeah. On here. Uh, obviously, you know, the cylinder's there, it's a horizontal one, because obviously the flywheel groove and then the motor was on this new base. So the flat belt would have yeah, been two between. Yeah, that makes sense actually, yeah. So you've got, so what was that? Was that extra air right over there then? It must have been, that was old, because look at the size of that pipe going through over there. But looking at this, this is never, not like any compressor I've seen before. That's two, that's two motors there powering. Whatever was here. Well, whatever they are, the bearing carrier for one, look, off the top of one. Old, really old. Yeah, it's got white metal like that. that. That's a top bearing carrier. Oh, it's like the big end of one. See, it, it, it's definitely piston valve because you've got a, a slant there for the pin to take to take it up. So you're looking at like a, you know, a, um, a big end sort of motion or a little end. Yeah. There'll be a tapered pin in there to, to tighten this up. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it's been left behind when I scrapped it. So. Crikey. But, I can't work out how big this thing was because it's also just two mounts and that's it. Yeah. Unless we got this all wrong and this was something to do with the rotary converters. Well, the exhaust. You know, no the idea. exhaust is up there above you, there, on the ceiling. So here, unless this was a... Well... Ah. There was something here, look. Okay. There was no, something on this two, frame. It was two castings sat on a wooden base. Mm, it's interesting. Wood to obviously take the vibration, the thump action. So this would have been, I reckon, two motors there, two small piston compressors. That's all I can think of. Yeah, yeah. Because the bases are perfectly parallel to each other. It's all been cast in one thing, look, see? Yeah, yeah. 
But like well, I say, I'm two motors. To know what this can put, that's obviously the yeah. starter for it. Yeah. So you got transformers for running these and the winder and yeah. obviously the compressor on the other side for more air. So they were trying to develop the mine. All DC powered because I can't see any way it was all AC because there's no conversion anywhere. I think the AC was up top. Down yeah. Here. Still got all air. Well, it might have been no. Please still clips on. Just hey, it's true. It might have been AC, mightn't it? But I'm sure it was all DC to start with, wasn't it? You got a rubber hose disc spinning up here. It goes under the floor <laughs> onto a steel pipe. Wow. Random things are you man. That's still that there. Clip one day and it's all got air and it just takes off. <laughs> oh, all up of asbestos band in there. Look. Lovely stuff. Yes, look at it down here. That old nail there with a round top. Looks like a chisel, doesn't it? The way it's shaped. Look, so look at that. Turn off torch. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well. Count sunk nail with a square end. Yeah, that's interesting. Wow. Yeah, people, that is foreboding, isn't it? You're looking that. <laughs> How far down do you think that'd go? Yeah, your trouble is, you disturb any of that. It's just a. Uh... Like what's what's the name of the channel? Like, uh, one came up a suggestion on YouTube the other day. Is it Mine Explorers? They have a fellow with an ROV which uh, they they send down old mine shafts. That'd be interesting to bring down here, wouldn't it? Right, yeah. should we go and have a look at that uh, yeah, tunnel? I'm just looking at the old shovel and the uh, More junk in the corners. I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but these are the sort of stuff I look back on. There's a cast iron incline roller base there in the corner. Look. See that one? It's a complete thing, both ends on it. It's a whole piece casting just to slot the roller in. To give you an idea what the roller would look like, if you look behind you, there's one just on the floor over here. It's probably off that, isn't it? Yeah, here, look. About the same size, isn't it? <laughs> ah, yes, yeah. I see a very small ends on it, isn't it? A little wear there, look. The cable's been right on this side, so obviously yeah. run out of alignment or there's been irregularity in the cable yeah. winding. There's some old uh, mechanisms there, look. I love the curvature of this. I didn't notice that before. It's all kind of, you know, the curvature on it. Wow. They've mixed in with this uh, old ash and soot. You see in the, the lime water. Yeah, anything they could get their hands on, probably. You can see how <laughs> blocks and loads of pit this here, look. The level is at. Yeah. You think they were slab banging? Yeah. The slabs, look at that, everything's been hit here over the yeah. years, and up here it's fine. It's all been crashed into, and that side's the same. Obviously bringing loads up here. So this whole, must have just gone, this whole level must have gone off that way. We'll go and find out, I'm not sure. So I reckon it went off that way, because we're in line with the Tuxford incline here, aren't we? That chap who put these in his long gun. Yeah, the counting marks are Scuffed, there. scutched, yeah. Oh no, just... Scutching. Stonemasons. Sally Anglestone. You see this everywhere around here. Must have their own stone basin. And again, you can see all the uh, crud oh, oil. This? <laughs> <got a> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, Christy. You've got the point lever still yeah. acting on the arm. So you've got a. That'll be the, the stub blades there. And then the, the nose would be off this pin here that's in the rod. So the, the nose would switch here. So <laughs> this was single track at the end. So it went from double to single. No, then, shot off here. Yeah. These wow. rail gets me. I mean, the, the head is completely gone. There's just the web and foot left. Look yeah. at this. I've never seen it that, 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 that It was that bad. They didn't even take it out and scrap it. Look at it. You'd imagine that's happened over the last 60, 70 years. <laughs> or, I'm going to throw one what in here now, James. Right there. You recording? Yeah. Right. right. Remember Diffwis, the really early rail? Yeah. This looks like they've turned some upside down to use it as, a, as rail. So if you're running out of money and you're offered this stuff for next to nothing, you're going to use it because you still run a wagon on it. It wouldn't be good for the wheels, but... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I think I'll localise the pressure point would be on top of that compared yeah. to the head of, say, the rail there in the floor, which wider. They've just put it in here. It, it has been used a rail because it's upside down in the Yeah, floor. yeah. Actually, this, also, looking at the track, this is part of a switch here because you see this big piece of slate here. Yeah. The track went that way, look folks, and then the track went that way, round the side of that weird post, which we don't know what it's for, and then it goes down the tunnel. It gets even worse, we've got, we've got the rail on the rail here, look, still pinned into a sleeper, see? <laughs> so we actually have a temporary set of layer of points as well. So obviously 
calcium. There was some complicated marshalling of wagons here. Well, they would have had so, stuff stored. Yeah, because this goes against the direction of traffic. Just get out of the way there. Yeah, it's a tracks in here, look. They pulled a lot of it out, so obviously they were using that maybe as the haulage to get all the junk out. They've left this in because it's not even worth anything, is it? I mean... I wonder whether this was the way out of here. It's just another cavern in this route here. Well, go and have a look that way. Yeah. I don't think this is the only way you get around the mine now. Really. Yeah. Let's just uh, do a bit. Yeah, there's a stubble out. There's two of them. See? Yes. With the, with the, um... Oh, electrical box there, look. So that would have gone to the... the... That would have gone to the arm, the 90 degree arm, or the, or the rocking piece. And then the piece between the two of them were all the bolted. Yeah. Through, because that's too small for the gauge, unless these actually add up to 24 inches, I don't know. Wow. Anyway, we'll leave that one for discussion. But <laughs> Lots of galve yeah, tubing there. Right? Rail here, this is really strange rail, look at that. That's wow. like really thick. The hell? Is that just a bit of random bar they yeah, found? Yeah, and look at this, this is like really, this is a very small 14 pound per yard flat, but look how small that is compared to this. <laughs> they know what they're doing, because they put this on the, inside, the outside of the curve. Weird that, though, isn't it? It's like a, you, just a bar. It, it, it's true what you say in the books, they literally were run out of money at the end, they didn't need anything. Then that, there down there folks, oh look, there's another tunnel off, goes off down there, look. Ah, that'd be where that pipe is. So, ah, here, this know. is probably off that control panel in that room, look. Let's just have a quick nosy at that while we're here. Look at, yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's got like a little chute on it. Like a tin or something there, look. Oh, did you see those bottles and stuff there? Yeah, balls them, aren't they? No, I didn't get any video of that. <laughs> well... Completely missed them, look, look at that. Are they modern? S. Williams lubricant, tubeplan, tested milk. <laughs> no, Festignog dairy, that's pretty cool. Look at that, Festignog, put the camera in, come on. There you are, look at that. Ain't got any, uh, and a tin, look at that. Slacks and cocks, here. And slacks and cocks, <laughs> it's a weird metal bar. There's probably a local day still going or it's a hat or mm. I'll get another shot right here because we've got your lights on here now. I was blinding them before. Couldn't couldn't get the photo of them. Yeah, that's what I like about this video, like it's quite a smooth light. And I think I got my head too. Cap tin or is it snuff tin over there? Snuff. Shame you can't see the Yeah that's a Lucas bottle look. Was it Corona with the, with the dots in it? Quite a modern one, eh? Yeah. Right, let's get down this tunnel. <laughs> We've been in here for about an hour now, people, I think, if you're watching, if you're watching this video. <laughs> Which way do you want to go? Do you want to go this way? Or? Let's go that way. Let's go this way. Let me just grab a big torch. Let's light it up because it is quite dark. Wow, look at this. So they're, they're pulling stuff through, look. See this roller inside. Oh, yeah, look at the size of that track. Yeah, they're going on that to 18 pound here, look, like random rail sizes. There's but they were pulling, there, look. Ah, look at that there. So they were pulling wagons through here with wires. Okay. So that might be why the top of this rails. Ah, that's what them big pillars are for. There's a winch on. They were winching cables along here, so we're using them as big to pull the cable around. Okay, that might be it. I mean, that, and then maybe there's a winch on that pedestal over there. We're it's just it's theorizing it's here, it's folks, because. There's a pill as well, this Yeah. So try and push away yeah. the fill later, wouldn't we? You see the boot there, James? There's another boot. Yeah, this oh, is part of the sole, the base yeah. of the foot here, look. Up now. Oh, look, at a belt buckle. Look at that. Got a belt buckle there, look. Your head torch off, that's it. There you yeah, go. Sorry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that overexposes yeah, otherwise. The joys of having a tiny camera with not great low light mm -hmm. capability. Oh, this must go on that internet. Oh, look, the size is good Wow. It's uh, some heavy gauge track there, isn't it? Yeah, I've gone from the lighty trail, but yeah, let's go into the next door where it's all in the back door. Yeah. So they had the two routes out of here. Kettles. Kettles are quiet. What is that? Wow, oh, it's some... see, acid jar, isn't it? Big old jar there, isn't it? Yeah, that's for storing acid in for the, the battery top-ups. Was it, Brian? It's in the end of the road tunnel there, look. I like the kettle. kettle. 
Does this place flood all the way up here then, do you think? Looks like it does. We're having a good time here. What do you think? Oh, crikey, yeah. Look at this. You can see the lines on the side of the wall, actually. Look at that there, folks. So maybe it does. Oh, no, that's the line and the slate, actually. <laughs> but, yeah, you can see all the deposits in these. This place definitely floods. Oh, yeah, that's that cabin we were just at. Look at the silt levels up here. Yeah. So it could actually come up to right where we are here. Yeah. So the drainage addict further down probably can't cope. The bypass the stub point here, they've kept the rail in. Yeah. But they've plain lined it straight down with the points out. Oh, squelchy. This rail is really strange. It's got rounded head of it. Oh, so this was still. Still using it as a There's a, a, a roll behind you, James, for the cable to rub on. On the wall. Oh, yeah, there we are. Look. Bring you in here, folks. So another boat. So they were pulling cables that uh, wagons, through. wagons through here. So that went to that cabin we were just at. And it's obviously all just collapsed in. Well, End, of End of the road. Let's have a nose. See how far it goes. And you reckon they top that big out then? You think? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's all flooded down there. Look. Flooded wherever that, they another cavern in there perhaps. Yeah. Let's have a quick let's have a quick nose. Do we not uh, oh no there is a little tunnel. The rail's going to go. So yeah, oh, so yeah. that's all come in. Oh yeah, that then. Goes into another room. Another room and there's an isolator on the wall there, look. Oh, yeah. Really isolator on the wall. Yeah, this does flood right up to chest height in here. Wow, good grief. You see how many sleepers have put in the rails here? Wow, oh. oh, they don't want the trucks to come off, did they? They must have a right problem with the uh, rails. They want them big bottles here, look. Let's see that lid of the big bottle and a little tiny. It's flooded back and this goes down to the cabin there, just squeeze through. Big piece of copper wire there, look at that. Yeah, that just goes off to another collapse. Does it? So it's the end of the Yeah, that's the end. Right? Yeah. So this wow. is obviously where they've been open, opening the top of the... Wow, look at that big old piece of cable there, folks. There's me thinking we had a gauge of wire, eh? Hey, yeah, look at the height difference in the floor here. That's a good three feet higher, that's it. Yeah. I think there are rails in here. There's a file there, look. File. Yeah. Room with a bottle. <laughs> Some clothes. Ow. <laughs> oh, right, there's um. Looks like it goes further on, James. It does? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look for a bit of a scramble. People have been going up there. Shall we move? There's a lot of wooden material coming down here, so it looks like this actually went further. Hmm. Obviously you is that another way in? Well, you've got to get in here somehow from that drainage tunnel because either this way or the other way. I'm, I'm guessing it's the other way, but let's have a look at this. Oh, I can see daylight. No, but <coughs> is it quite a big uh, space. Not really, no. I think it's. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It's collapsed, isn't it? That's a big chamber. It's worth investigating. That's mm. coming from outside, hasn't it? Yeah. I remember because that. This was the floor. Sorry, where I came people, to... I'm, I'm looking up there and I'm not showing you guys. I'm going to have to plug the back camera in, in a second. So, this is the base of the Tuxford Incline we're on now. It used to be about six floors above us. <sighs> this bit of woodwork here, let me just get back. I'm going to. Uh... Sorry, James. All right, yeah, I need to plug the camera in. Adam's going to have a nosy up there, folks. I'm going to uh, find somewhere to plug the camera in, so we'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, people, battery up, charging. So we've just literally come from the other side of there. So literally just the other side of this bit here going down is where we've just, so we've just crammed up. And then we've got another, another sort of three. Got that one now, look. That one there, Adam is. And another one there, which is just a dead end or just a cavern. So we'll have a quick nosy down here. So yeah, we were just running parallel to that. So this would have gone into that big chamber where we just were. So a big chamber of all the equipment. So this has been the main haulage level out of it. So we're dead in line with that big chamber we just were of all the uh, cool stuff in it. It's a big old piece of track. And it would have gone that way. 
but uh, not anymore. Big collapse. And Adam's Adam's gone down there, so let me just get, get down and look. So let's have a quick look here first before we go down there. So there's yet another winter or something in here, look. Oh, you gone that way. Oh, <laughs> he wanted me to go the other way. So that goes to yet another incline. So we'll have a look at that in a second. So let's just go that. He wanted me to go this way. <laughs> All right. All oh, right, so there's a hollow floor that could just give way. No, it's, it's made out of slab. It's a slab floor, yeah. slab side. Drainage at it. Even an air pipe going down in there. They even put an air supply pipe in the side. Look at that there, folks. So obviously they were pumping up to this level, and this was obviously must go to the drain tunnel, which oh. is that way, as I said. Yeah. The floor is. Oh yeah, look at the wooden floor in this bit. Yeah, look at this. Oh wow, another incline going down. Good grief! They keep finding them. So this is further back again. <laughs> Right. Well, the excite levels, people, keep going. Too much like excite. Get out, damn it, torch. Yeah. Uh. Right, one sec.